Welcome back to Uganda and Chogham. Chogham sounds a rather sort of old-fashioned sort of name, doesn't it? But the issues that are being discussed here this week are very much up to the minute, up to date, and in many cases, urgent. Take climate change, for example. I talked about that to Linda Chalker and to, and I look down for the full name here, Winston Baldwin Spencer. All the conferences that take place feel they've got a debate and anguish themselves over climate change and so on. Does it do any good? Is there something about climate change that you and all your colleagues here at the Commonwealth Conference could do? Absolutely. It's an extremely uh, important uh, subject area which really requires us to examine and uh, to find uh, some common approaches as to how we're going to deal with this issue. Um, especially for um, uh, small island states, especially coastal states you'll have in the, in, in the Caribbean, it becomes even more critical because we are clearly vulnerable to, to, to this kind of situation. And uh, uh, as you know, most of these islands are heavily dependent uh, on tourism and just coming out of a, a session they are dealing uh, with that. And the impact of, 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 of climate change on small economies like Antigua and Barbuda could be devastating. Right. How, in what way? How, how does it become devastating? Well, f uh, for instance, um, we are exposed to uh, the, the, the situation where uh, hurricanes and other types of um, uh, uh, disasters can bes beset us. Our economies can uh, be turned upside down in a matter of, 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 of minutes because of this. And you have had situations to where the emission of, 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 of gases and so on could affect the, the, the climate situation. And as the saying goes, um, we can be severely affected by this, but we may not have been the um, originators of this whole situation. So that puts another twist to the, to, to the, to the saga. Linda, uh, do you agree with that in terms of the fact of large conferences? Because you went to the conference across the, the famous Rio conference and so on, which did didn't produce quite the fruit that was we hoped for. No. I think that the Prime Minister is absolutely right. We have a very major responsibility in the industrialized nations also to develop policies which will lessen greenhouse gases, which will lessen the melting of the ice cap, which will lessen the uh, effect of, on coastal waters and coastal areas which people so enjoy on their holidays, but where people live, frankly, in grave danger. We only have to look at the weather situation in Bangladesh in the last week or so, uh, look at what happened with the tsunami. Our weather is now unpredictable. The wet areas are getting wetter and for longer. The dry areas are getting drier and for longer. And therefore, global warming is a reality. It's not some myth. And I hope that at this conference, heads of government will indeed be able to come up with some mutually acceptable solutions. But of course, it's not just up to the Commonwealth. And that's one of the big problems. We can agree, in fact, and we probably Absolutely. shall. Yeah. But with China, who's outside the Commonwealth, the United States of America, the Soviet Union, um, and a number of countries who have a very heavy chemical industry and so forth, there has to be worldwide action. It's not enough for us to agree. It's a good start in the Commonwealth, but it's not enough for us to agree. You mentioned China there, and I think that's the solution. Bring China into the Commonwealth. That would, <laughs> that would have a big impact. Uh, I think the language might be difficult, don't you? Yes, that's <laughs> quite true, yeah. Is, in fact, uh, just in, in passing, climate change worse or better for an island? I mean, is it, are you insulated from the problem or more exposed to the problem? Well, we believe we're more exposed to the problem, and it is something that we, we take very, very seriously because, I mean, we have had our share of that in, 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 in the Caribbean, and, and literally on a daily basis we have to come to terms with it. We keep talking about it, trying to sensitize uh, the people of the effects of, of, of this thing. Clearly, um, 
uh, it calls for some very, very serious uh, uh, action um, on the part of the world community in terms of dealing with this matter. And, uh, and, and I agree with um, uh, Choka here that um, uh, those countries uh, that are very much part of the problem ought to be a major part of the solution. Thank you both very much indeed.